What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pine and Peppy. Uh, two years ago, my entire family, me, my mom, my dad, and my brother, went to see Tedeschi and Trucks live in concert in Manhattan, in New York City. And it was, a, it was in the winter. I didn't know anything about this band. I'd never even heard of them going into the concert. Um, my dad, about a week before, had gotten tickets, and he was a fan, and he was super excited for us to go see him. Um, and he talked them up quite a bit. Um, and from everything I heard, they were, they, like, a lot of people talked them up. I was, you know, um, they're a great band, they're a great jam band, blues band, blues rock, this and that. They're amazing. Um, I've heard my, I heard people tell me that, that uh, Derek Trucks, who's the, the, the lead guitarist, is he is every bit as good as Eric Clapton. I've got nothing but good things. So I was pumped. Like, I don't know anything about this band, but, um, you know, <laughs> Manhattan, New York City, yeah, let's go. Like a, a, a concert, let's let's do it. I was looking forward to it. Worst experience in my life um, in terms of music. Uh, it was terrible. Um, the band was, I don't even know where to begin. I, I guess this is kind of gonna be a rant, but I mean, they had, they were red flags right off the bat that like, while they were like setting up where I was just like, this is weird. They had two drummers playing the same beat, which is like, that's gratuitous. Why are they, why are, why are there two drummers? It was an indoor venue. I'm like, why are there two drummers? That makes no sense. Um, the, after about midway through the second song, uh, it was the, the wife, I think they're married, uh, Tedeschi and Trucks, like their, their husband and wife, and she, she was the singer. And about halfway through the second song, I'm sitting, my brother's sitting next to me and I go, we were, we were talking back and forth about something like just a quick exchange in words. And then I looked up and I'm like, wait a minute. And I look at the singer and I'm like, she's lip syncing. And once you noticed it, it was so fucking obvious. She did it the whole concert. And even my brother who kind of, I mean, we get along, we're friends, but sometimes he disagrees with me just for the sake of disagreeing or something. He was kind of like, oh my God, you're right she's lip syncing like lip syncing every single song and that pissed me off so much and not only did she lip sync they had like four backup vocalists i don't know why you need that many but they had four backup vocalists and even maybe they had like a, a solo here and there like singing on their own all of it was lip syncing it was so blatantly obvious and no one in the crowd knew it because it was an older crowd everyone was on shrooms there was pot smoke everywhere acid people you know, like looped out of their minds, uh, like in the aisles, just, you know, like, you know, on, on all kinds of drugs. And I'm like, th this band's making a fool of, of this, of, of the, of their fans. Like they're, they're making fools out of you. And it pissed me off so much. And even in between songs, the, like the vocalist, like the backup vocalist would like go like to the microphone and like say something and it would be off. And like, they would all like start cracking up laughing. Cause they're like, Oh, like busted, you know, like the microphone's off. You're not, you're not singing into the, into the mic. Like you're not singing. Like it, it's, it's dubbed. And it, it like, they were like laughing about it. And like, they were just make, like basically mocking the crowd with that, um, that no one knew what was going on. Um, and I, me and my brother knew and I, and their song beyond that, their songs were not good. There, there, there were not good songs. They were all like extremely long songs that just would not end. And it was just like, Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. And the guitarist, Derek truck, I, he doesn't hold a candle to Eric, Eric Clapton. Are you kidding? And this is not against my dad or anything like his taste in music. That's not an attack on my dad, but like, or like anyone of like who said that, but like he was, not a good guitar player. And what pissed me off even more is that he did not, he had his back to the crowd the entire time, literally the entire concert, his back was to the crowd and he, he was, he did the same motion. Like he was just kind of like doing, like he had no stage presence whatsoever. Didn't say a word, never looked at the crowd, never acknowledged the crowd. And I get that like, you know, you could be overwhelmed by a crowd. You gotta maybe like turn your back sometimes to kind of collect yourself or like, uh, you know, like have a moment to yourself of just kind of like, you know, you need to focus here, but no crowd interaction, like God forbid you like wave even, right? Um, the, the, the they were not in rhythm. They were not like, it was, there was not a tight concert. They were kind of all over the place. 
Um, they were, it was, it was a really, really bad performance, even beyond like the, the obvious lip syncing, which annoyed me so much. Um, I could not believe that was happening. Um, and there's no mistake, like it, she was every single, maybe she did one song like singing on her own that, that we recognized like, oh, okay, no, that's her voice, but she lip sank through the whole thing. They had an intermission. It's not like a play, like, we're not going to see the Lion King. Like they actually had an intermission that lasted about like an hour. They're like, okay, we're going to take a quick break. They were just backstage for like an hour, probably doing God knows what drugs and like just keeping us waiting. And I'm sitting there like, you've got to be kidding me. Like you've got to be kidding me. We're only halfway through. I feel like I've been here for four hours and I kept, we kept waiting and waiting for the band to come back out. So I sit through the, the next half, which was just as bad as the first half, if not worse, because I was pissed off. I was sitting in my chair, like act, like I was just kind of looking at him like, I cannot, like, I was so annoyed. I literally almost called out like to heckle. I almost like stop lip syncing, but I didn't. And I, I don't, if I did, I might've regretted it, but I, I, would, I feel like I would have regretted it either way. I didn't do it, but I was so mad at that band. They were like mocking the crowd, basically. It was bad performance. At one point, they were all like, for every song, they were all like banging on tambourines. Like they had like 10 band members all banging on tambourines. Why? Like, like you don't need that many. To, it's almost like they were trying to, with the two drummers to, it's almost like they were trying to mask her lip syncing or something. And every song was like a song that just would not end. And it would not end. And it was just, there was no memorable music. There was no memorable songs. None of them were good. I didn't like any of them. Um, and finally the show ends and they get a mild applause that goes on and it's on. And I'm like, don't come out. For, I'm like, don't you dare come out for an encore. Don't you dare come out for an encore. This is not even, this, this applause is not even encore worthy. They wait about 10 minutes and then they stroll back out and they play an encore song that was probably about, I kid you not, 20 minutes long. 20 minutes of just god awful jam music with, like, it, it just would not end. It would not end. That was a concert in and of itself, that, that encore. It was terrible. Um, and it was one of the worst experiences of my life, music wise. I don't like that band at all. Um, I actually despise that band um, a lot for what they did to, to their fans. Um, and I'm pretty sure they probably do that every concert. I mean, you know, I mean, it's probably not unique to that one. It's, they probably do that all the time. And they, 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 they just were so disrespectful of the audience that the, 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 the guitarist was not good. He, he had literally had his back to us, literally the entire concert, did not turn around once. There was no interaction with the crowd, no stage presence for any of them. Um, and the, like, I, I, there's like 10 members of that band. Like, it, I, I could, you know, maybe that's kind of like a thing for that genre of music, but even look, I, I even looked real quick on Wikipedia. Like they've, they've been together for 12 years and they've had like 20 band members run through. Like that's not consistent. That's not, that doesn't show continuity. That doesn't show you know what you're doing. Um, and I despise that band. Um, I don't, I don't think, I mean, you know how many bands out there would kill, who like would kill for an opportunity to play, have a gig in Manhattan and would do it the right way? And they just take that opportunity and basically spit and spit in our face. Um, they're terrible. Um, yeah. All right. And I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, this isn't like a negative channel. I'm not trying to be, but this is kind of a rant. I've been, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Tadeshi and Truck, I, I don't like two thumbs down across the board in every way possible. Um, I actively despise that band. All right. Planet Peppy. Peace out.